Don't do it. What? Don't kill him. Any reason in particular? I think you know why. Get out of my way, Risa. If that's really what you want. It's you. A little ironic, isn't it? You knew they were coming? Well, not today. Paranoia is like a wildfire in these circles. All it takes is a whisper. Basil said the same thing. I bet. You were fetching medicine for sickly mothers a couple days ago. Valerian's got you by both balls, doesn't he? Jared, I... Look, I understand. If I hadn't lost my nerve... I'd probably be at some other poor bastard's doorstep giving him the same somber speech. For what it's worth, I hope you find it. Find what? Whatever's worth all of this. Whatever's worth killing for. I thought it was my mother. Couldn't imagine anything more important. But apparently you can. Close your eyes. I'm sorry. I know. So, it's done then? It's done. Fine. That's what I wanted to hear. Now listen. Mirage has taken quite an interest in you. I thought no one sees him. They don't. He communicates through a single agent. They call him Tongue, fittingly enough. How can I find him? Don't get ahead of yourself. I only brought you here to fulfill our arrangement. I simply thought you'd be interested to know what impact your actions have had as of late. The Captain. Where can I find him? Such information isn't so simple to acquire, even for myself. All I can do is give you his name. Falanen Neiman. No wonder everyone calls him the Captain. It's not exactly native to this region, though neither is he. He owned a slaughterhouse in Chesnadar nearly a decade ago. When the Imperials began repurposing land without compensation, he fought back. They attempted to arrest him. He killed three guards with his bare hands. He's been recruiting men ever since. Just enough to mess with the status quo. Their so-called guerrilla tactics usually end up leaving us with more problems. They destroy shipments we plan to steal, kill guards we pay to walk away. But I have to ask, What's your interest in him? It's personal. A vendetta, then? <laughs> I know the look. Couldn't stop you if I wanted to. What can you tell me about the Tower of Fangs? I can tell you that even talking about it has brought about the death of more powerful men than either of us. Some say he's protected by Gandahar himself. I know you have a death wish, but some things are worse than death. Rumours say that Captain is the only one ever to go inside. Then again, rumours also say he rides a horse made of crystal. Can you tell me about Risa? I see that my newest pearl got herself a new admirer. She came here a few weeks ago looking for work. When she came into my office, I just couldn't refuse, if you know what I mean. I could have arranged a meeting with her in a quiet place, but I don't think you have that kind of money. I appreciate it. Likewise. Before you go... Sorry, Basil, but... Relax. It's simply an open offer. What kind of offer? I arrange fights from time to time. You know, to entertain the locals. If you ever find yourself in need of extra auras... 
I'm listening. The fights take place at the pit, the arena where the brother used to train. Speak with a run. Give him the phrase, you can swallow a pot of blood before you get sick. He'll know that I sent you. <laughs> 